Hello again, Dave here. In today's video, it's a big one. I'm gonna show you how to edit or create your own smart plans. Now, I wouldn't recommend editing the ones that Chime, excuse me, Lofty already has built out because why reinvent the wheel? Um, I personally have only created maybe one or two smart plans that I found useful. Otherwise, I, I typically just use the standard ones because again, they're proven. But if you have a wild hair up your butt and you really want to create one, here you go. Let's show you how to do it. So you're going to find it under settings. Then on the very left side, you'll see smart plans. But I think my, my head is in the way. Let me do it this way. Smart plans right there. Pop my head back on. So these are the ones that either um, you as an agent have. Um, if you're part of a team, they may have their smart plans. Also, just a heads up, if you're part of a team or maybe a brokerage that doesn't give you team access to uh, Lofty, you won't be able to probably create your own smart plans or at, least, or at least edit the ones they have already because I'm, I'm sure your team leader or broker doesn't want you messing with what they have because that affects everybody across the board. So double check. Um, if you are with Real, like myself, uh, you do get the team access so you can create and edit and it's only going to show it for you, not anybody else, unless you are a team leader. All right. So to edit, you just click the, the gear. So I'm not going to edit any of these, but it's really simple. You click the gear, you can edit it and you can tweak as you go. But again, don't recommend it. If you really wanted to create your own, you hit add new up here. So here's some reoccurring ones. So if you want to create some holiday plans or just a standard, which is probably most often what you're going to do. Hit start. You just name your plan. And then you kind of have to go through and then like, what are your triggers? So is it going to be a equals to, is it going to be a buyer, seller, um, whatever. And then, it could also be these. So for example, a lead created, that's where most people are going to have the trigger. New lead comes in, boom, they're added to this workflow or the smart plan. But sometimes if you're moving them through a pipeline, like through a transaction, well, then they could be attached to that smart plan. So for example, pipeline change here in the middle, that's great if you're going from, let's say it's an offer, then it's an accepted offer. As you're moving them through that transaction timeline, it'll trigger that smart plan. So there's a lot of things you can really get involved with these smart plans. Um, typically, you know, you, you may discover overwhelmed, but not saying you won't, but um, there's a lot of options. So let's say, you know, what's gonna be a lead created. Pipeline is new lead, save. Great, so there's my trigger, and then now you have your actions. So here, the actions are immediately, or you can set timers when you want when you want it to go. And then these are your options. So usually when somebody signs up, you send them an auto email, and then you can type your subject line. And remember, don't forget to use those variables, first name, because people like to see their name, and then you type in whatever you want to. Great, that one's done. Let's add another step. So this step here, wait one day, or do you want to wait three days, four days, whatever you want to do, you can, you can, you can adjust it. And then you can do, let's say <clears throat> maybe a notification to you to call them or auto text, <coughs> excuse me, email and text. What that is, you have to do it. All right. So it's a reminder for you to email or you to text. Auto text, auto email, duh, makes sense. Auto, it does it, does it by itself. So, or if you want to send them a letter or if you want to call them. So let's say call, great. Make phone call. You can type in notes what you want to. There you go. Add a step. So again, this is how you create your smart plan. And some people want that full creative capability of doing this awesome smart plan. Go ahead and do, do it if you want to. doesn't mean you have to use it, but if you want to tinker around with it, great. Um, I, I've also created a system called FreeUp where I have tons of workflows or smart plans like this that I use 
that are really engaging. So I do know they work, right? Um, just make sure your smart plans don't modify the, the basic ones that come with it because they're really good. And if you want to create some, go ahead. And also, if you've got questions on this, let me know. I, I, I think it's fun to be creating these things because, um, yeah, you never know. Maybe you're, maybe you're going to stand out in a good way that other people um, don't do. So there you go. Make sure you like, subscribe, follow me, um, do all those fun things because sharing is caring. I'm a big fan of Lofty. And I think every real estate agent like myself should be maximizing your capabilities of Lofty because it will enhance your business.